Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable. It's a great honor to be in the presence of the Lord. God has been so faithful to us. Somebody said, God is faithful to me. I want to speak to the people of the world, everybody. I want to speak to you, fathers. I want to speak to you, mothers. I want to speak to the youths. And also, I want to speak to the ministers of God. Things has been falling apart. Things is falling apart on daily basis, every season, every time, every hour. Things has been falling apart. And then you can say you are comfortable with it. You are not. Nobody is comfortable with what is happening in the land, society, communities, nation of the whole world. The life is more precious. When you build a house and the house carried away by the heavy wind, you can build it again. When you build a house and the engineer that you hand over the building or the project couldn't do a good work and the house collapsed on the way. If you have your way, you can replace it. When you have private jets, yeah, you have private jets and out of um, technology error and the private jet crashed. If you have your way, you can replace it. I'm talking about automobiles like cars and all good facilities that help life is something you can go and get it back. But when you out of jealousness out of what they say Kimi you come by me again. The most precious thing that God has given to mankind is what we are using to play. Use it as joke. Now, I learned is soaked. Nations soaked with blood and nobody seems to understand why it is like that a lot of prophecies has been made we don't hear prophecy anymore you believe that the problem is from government you got it wrong you are the problem. I am the problem. You and I have to do something about and lend. I'm a messenger of God. What I see is not funny. To get the facts of what you and I are suffering on this land 
in our community society in the nation of the whole world is something you need to listen to me be who you are I'm happy I am called by God not by any man and I call to south I'll read a place for you after reading that place I'll give you references and I'll proceed I'm taking you to the holy book in the book of Matthew chapter 12 from verse 31 to 32 wherefore I said unto you on manner of sin and blaspheme shall be forgiven unto men but the blaspheme against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto me. Verse 32. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be give, forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. Neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Thank you. You heard my reading. I want to talk about a man of God, Apostles Johnson Suleiman. I'll speak a few things about him. This man on this screen. I know him a servant of God. Few months ago, did this man was attacked and nearly lose his life. Many people we are killed about seven on the same day. People who never believe God, they were angry. Their problem is not because he was attacked, but their problem why must he used? bulletproof car so the, the problem is he is supposed to die at the same time with these people nobody people we are not sorry about his life dear problem he, he is supposed why is he using bulletproof that is when Today I'm seeing many hall on social media. Castigating man of God. You say he has been sleeping with you. That's why you have the God to come out on social media to disgrace and to insult him. Number one, you that appeared on social media and your supporters disgracing him. God that created you a whore. That created you people that supporting evil. Has looked into your fathers and see all the male born in your family. He couldn't choose them to be his servant. And give him the position he gave this man. God is wise. You are not capable to do what the work he is doing. And you never like good things. I'm talking to you, hard that claim to be a virgin. 
Imagine that Apostle Suleiman is the first man of your life. But he is not. And he is not the second man in your life. He's not the third, fourth, third man in your life. Talk about the fourth or fifth or sixth or seventh man in your life. Because you see the glory of God in him. You cannot stop what God has dedicated. You can't defy it. And he is only a mad person at such. Because I've lived all my life. I've seen women. I've seen women that are running mad. Mad women. And they, sometimes mad women get pregnant. The person that pregnanted them is by their side. A mad woman, they have lovers, but they never open their mouth and tell who pregnanted them. So you see that a mad woman is better than so many of you today. Imagine you, me, Reverend Elias Solomon and Mecca, have something with you, young lady. It's a blessing to you. Because I'm a man of God. But you think you can set up a man of God up? That his name, his career will be destroyed. It's impossible. You can't do that. And I'm not telling you this for you to know whether I'm working with Apostle Suleiman or not. But I'm telling you this because I'm speaking the gospel to all the world. The problem you have speaking against the spirit of God. Doing the things that you are not supposed to do and you are blaming the government. Then government are blaming you. The land is soaked of blood. This decent man last year opened a restaurant where everybody, no matter your religion, will come, eat freely, go. We all clap for him. Come to your contact as a young lady. How many contact of men do you have? You have work to do in your father's family. I've lived all my life in ministry. I've seen people that stand against me, speaking against me. Years ago, today when I see some of them, what is the cause? Our master, you don't read Bible because you don't believe God. You don't read Quran because you don't believe Allah. You don't read uh, Torah because you, you are not a Jewish. Holy Book says one of the leaders, the, the messengers of God, Yahshua Messiah, says, what you eat will not defy you. But what comes out from your mouth will put you into judgment. The world is judged. The people are dying because of what comes out from their mouth. Go to southeast, south, south, all parts of this nation. Reverend fathers, being kidnapped, killed, nobody mourns for them. Nobody speak. Few weeks ago, a reverend father was captured and born alive. What was his crime? His crime is only that he was a messenger of God. See me here. 2015, the government of this state gathered and barged into the cathedral of the Most High God. 
the temple God used me and the people of God and built without notice, without sign, and demolish it and go away without saying anything. What was the offense of the house of God? Because we are worshipping the living God there. Your land is soaked. Our own land is soaked with blood. Nobody seems to understand what to do to bring back the joy. Today, come to southeast. Dead bodies packed on mortuary, inside mortuaries. The owners of these dead bodies are, are far running away. They are afraid to come down and bury their beloved person. And people are dying more and more. Many families today in Southeast, they have about two, three people staying in mortuary. There was no arrangement. There is no arrangement for the barrier. Nobody has ever think, what shall we do to restore peace and love? Today, our daughters, we see husband in another state, in another country, they will not come back home. For the wedding ceremony or traditional ceremony. Why? Because the land is soaked with blood. Nobody think about any other thing. Killing everywhere. You never talk about that. You never made any plan about that. You are committing more crisis. Pointing finger and destroying God's angels on earth. You say things is very hard. Things will never be free. Things never be well with you, except you know you are wrong, where you have wrong against Father. Some of you came into the ministry, you know it's not your call, and you are conniving with people to destroy the chosen ones. I'm telling you something I know. You pay bright price of the woman you want to marry. You did the tradition of the woman you want to marry by doing transfer to the family of the woman. And you have the celebration in another state, in another country. Why? You are afraid to come back home. But you think you are wise. And we are here pumping prayer to God. Asking more mercy. And you are busy destroying the people that God has chosen to speak for you. No president will speak for you. No governor has ever come on stage and speak the pains of the people. But men of God did that for you. But you are still against them. The mouth that blesses you is the same mouth you are causing. Because you think you are a big girl. Wait. Time is coming. Every seed you sow, you shall reap it. Some years ago, I warned my people prophetically the highest celebration you see around us today is very rare. But that the same celebration of burial has been taken away from you. No more celebration today. And nobody seems to understand. Changing of the new government cannot make any differences. The land is soaked with blood. Let me tell you, the nation is possessed. The land is possessed with evil spirits. The healing of the land, the healing of the nation we come from the holy places like monks, like Bethkenneset or synagogue, like the churches we are choosing men of God or prayers. Remember the speech of Lucky Dube. They have killed the prophets. A nation, a generation that kills prophets. You want to use prophets to build up your page on social media.
to draw the attention of viewers. You can draw the attention of viewers. But you pay the penalty. When the time is here. I am a servant of God. This land is soaked. Everywhere is possessed by evil spirits. The land need healing. Government cannot heal the land. The land need healing. Presidents can listen. The number one citizen of this country and your country, they are all tired. They are confused. Because why wouldn't they be confused? Their children can never school in this country. When they need medical attention, they never take medical attention in this country because in their mindset, they believe any medical practitioner that comes around them may keep them here. They don't trust anybody. But you think you trust them for peace. Including anybody you want to choose. Never take his medication here in this country. He ran away a place that is already organized to take medication for life. And you think for the time for you and I to show love, use and castigate. If you have been a woman I have met in my life and decided to go my way, I am not the first man that carried you and dump you. But to see a man is a man of God. Be careful. When Jesus Christ was, they say all manner of evil against him. When TB Joshua was, you people say a lot of things. To the day God caught him, you can never have TB Joshua again in Lagos State, in Africa, in the whole world. You can buy everything that you have lost, but you will never buy life. The day God called him, TV Joshua to go millions billions billions cannot bring back his life the same life that is so precious is what you are serious out to condemn condemning the man of God condemning his wife who came out to speak on his behalf Jesus said this generation of course the generation that believe in signs and wonders there is no signs and wonders you will see that is greater than truth believe what I'm telling you every day I pray to God to heal the land the land is soaked with blood. You are confused. You never believe the truth. Our master said, the Messiah, the messenger of God, Jesus, the truth you know is what will bring peace in our land. Confusion everywhere. Your brother is wearing a new clothes. Your mind is to kill him and take the clothes. Then you succeed of killing him and take that clothes. Within a few months and a year, the same clothes, you kill somebody because of that, the same clothes, and you keep on wearing the clothes. We worn out. It worn out and rot. And you cannot replace it. You kill your own brother because of car. One beautiful year, the car will go out of fashion and become old mother. You will not have the desire to ride it again. Sometimes the car will crush. Sometimes serious damage will come on the car. But when you allow that life to stay, the life will always produce more cars, more clothes, more houses, more developments. He 
You have serious matter to solve. God loves you. We want to talk about life. It is the only thing I know that is bigger than the medical practitioners. The only thing I know that is bigger than the engineers. Engineer. You study engineering. As an engineer you are, life is bigger than you. You study political science, you and I know that life is bigger than you. You give your boys order to go and kill that man. Kill him, demolish his church, burn his church. What are we fighting for? We are fighting for land? Are we fighting for religion? A government money? Today you see so many money you packed in your warehouse. Kakas has eat up the money, the cash. And you pack it and go and throw it away. Selfishness. In your community, many wretched people are there. Dying of hunger. But you pack the money. People's money. And you say it's government money. No government without people. Selfishness. Listen. As long as you are a religious person, listen to me. You can't settle this matter with God. You cannot heal this land with talking. I remember when the church was demolished. My mother died on that spot. No matter how much I have to die, I can't buy my mother back. But the consequences, you never think about. I'm still alive. I've seen so many of them that demolished the church, dying. The representatives of the government My people commit one sin after another. Trying to know the difference between holy things and unholy. Holy man of God. Because he's riding jet. He's going on big car. He's living a good house. So you want all men of God to be a beggar. You are cause. Man of God is man of all people. So many of you that force, force yourself in the ministry, you come on social media talking because you think you are a man of God. You know you are not a man of God. You just force yourself into the ministry to be that hypocrite, a deceiver, and you know you cannot be a man of God. Because a man of God speak the man of God. You speak in the favor of your followers to get attention. I'm not a social media man of God. I'm a man of God. With people, without people, I will serve God. God will pay me. I live in bush all my life. When I was living in bush, I spent so many years inside bush without seeing human being. Life is very sweet and comfortable. Very sweet and comfortable. A time came, God said, I will live out the wilderness and join the world. Christ is all over the world. I live in wilderness for a number of years. I don't know that snake never bites somebody. If you don't look for snake problems, snake become your friend. Birds come around me. White animal comes around me. I don't feel that mosquito bites somebody. I don't feel so afraid. I have never been in danger. 
I live alone. I eat whatever I see there. Peaceful life. Very smooth life in the bush. In the wilderness. There's a difference in between bush and wilderness. You know that the birds will come in the morning, wake you from sleeping, make fun of you, play with you. You see how snakes comes around me. Stay close to me. They are not harm. They are all, all of them are harmful. But a human being is too dangerous. Very, very dangerous. This life, when I fall down today, no money will bring me back. Stop taking life. Stop destroying somebody's business. Stop being against men of God. Woman, if you don't have shame of womanhood, ask people that is bigger than you to teach you. Husband and wife fellowship can never be in public. Imagine somebody that is not your husband, somebody is not your wife, you have something with her or with him. You come out boldly talking about it. Can't you see? You're supposed to go to Sakya Hospital. You're supposed to. Whether he did it or he did not do it, that is not my problem. How can a woman say that somebody slept with me? Go to your father's family. You have so many problems to solve. In your community, there's a lot of problems to solve. I'm telling you what I know. Do you want to call me names? Call me names. I'm a spiritual. Everything that comes out from your mouth will return back according to your vision. I know that. Our nation is soaked with blood. We have a lot of work to do. All these politicians you are seeing, their children, their family, a place they are governing, a place they are president, a place they are senators, the land they are uh, house of rep, none of their family member is staying here. What does that mean? They know they cannot fix it. It's you and I will face it. Then if you and I cannot bend down and show love, how can we live? Our next and next generation will suffer. If you came here today, I did not die prematured. And I'm not begging you for my life. But I'm telling you, what Jesus told them is still existing today. May God forgive you. I pray for mercy of our land. Go to not in this part of country here in West Africa. They don't do Islamic ways of burial again. They go on mass burial. Is it a good thing? Mass burial. You see people, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh? Why? Let me repeat it again. All the politicians, their families are not here. The land they are claiming, the resources they are claiming, they are pushing it to a place where developed and welcomed. They know they cannot fix it. They take, took all their family outside for safety and use all 
the security that's supposed to take care of one community for themselves. Then you and I killing ourselves is bad. I repeat, the land is possessed with evil spirits, soaked with blood. How can all this blood I'm seeing can be washed out? Remember, the blood, the land is soaked with it. It's the souls of the people that have no rest. They have joined internal life, but they have no rest. You and I, need to perform the prayers the atonement to give them rest so that our land will be as the original plan people you are blessed father forgive my people forgive men forgive women Forgive all that have sinned against you. We seek thy permission. I beg thee, give us solution of atonement. The reconciliation. Perform this sacrifice to calm the souls of the people that has been killed falsely calm their souls down that their joy will return back to our land in this nation and the nation of the world forgive my people we seek thy peace I beg of thee in the name of Jesus thank you it is well celebrate Jesus